Well, top CEOs of some of America's most prominent companies have been getting a little political these days, speaking out on various issues like voting rights, for example. But now they're being called out for it by some. A new ad campaign is taking on the likes of Nike, Coca-Cola, and American Airlines. And News Nation's Leland Bittert joins us with more. Leland. Hey, Martin. Nice to see you. These ads are running in each CEO's hometown. So when they go to the grocery store or the country club, People are going to be talking about it, and the ads ask a simple question. Why are companies with such serious issues in their own house, slave labor accusations, for example, at Nike, layoffs at American Airlines, so quick to criticize and virtue signal? Take a listen to the ads. Nike is constantly political. Why? Cover. Why is CEO Doug Parker trying to appease the radical left? To distract, Coca-Cola is getting political, attacking Georgia's popular voting law. Why? To distract, serve your customers, not woke politicians. Wall Street Journal has a simple answer. Nike and Mr. Donahoe flaunt their leftist positions as part of their brand identification. Others may be hoping to buy cheap grace from the Biden administration. Still others may be bowing to politically charged employees, but CEOs get paid to lead and protect their brands not to be led by people who think businesses should embrace their politics. In the case of Nike, the ads highlight the company's long relationship with athlete Colin Kaepernick, known best for his kneeling for the national anthem and complaints that no NFL team would pick up his contract. This is the video China Nike does not want to talk about. Chinese Uyghurs shackled up at a train station allegedly headed off to slave labor camps. In a report issued in March, this is quoting the New York Times, the Congressional Executive Commission on China, a bipartisan group of lawmakers, listed Nike and Coca-Cola as companies suspected of ties to forced labor alongside Adidas, Calvin Klein, Campbell's Soup Company, Costco, H&M, Patagonia, Tommy Hilfiger, and others. So while both Coke and Nike spent a lot of time and money in virtue signaling, they were also spending hundreds of thousands of dollars lobbying Congress, not on human rights, he spent it lobbying against an anti-slave labor bill. We called Nike, Coke, never heard back. All right, Leland, thank you.